This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. Atomic. All right, mate. All right, mate. How's things? How was your night? I'm good. Until that first round when you got hit with one, but uh, <laughs> you made up for it, mate. You made up for it very much so. Um, yeah. How do you assess that performance? Yeah, it was good. Obviously, we knew he was a big puncher, and we, um, like, I, I knew, I think, I feel like when I know I've got a big puncher in front of me, I sort of go in there switched on. Um, but I did take that one to wake me up. It wasn't a shot that like, hurt me, just pushed me off balance. I came off at an angle and he pushed me back. Um, no, it was a good shot, listen, he pushed me off balance. And I think after that shot, I was a bit like, yeah, do you know what, this is no mug. Like, I've got to really, really stay focused here. And then um, I hit him with that little right hand over the top that put him down. And um, we just found the shots after that. Just, I showed I've got a bit of killer reach, a bit, a bit of spite in me. Um, it was a good performance, I rated it very well. Yeah, that first shot, again, one question on it, because it was a great performance, I thought. Fuck me, have we got a little bit of an AJ Dubois here, straight over the top, but definitely not. You come back and uh, it didn't even look like it wobbled you, mate. You just come down, tracked him down, and you destroyed him in very, very exciting fashion. Yeah, it was good. Obviously, that first shot wasn't one that we should have taken, really. It was um, a bit of a, not, not a cheap punch, it was a good shot from him, yeah. but it was one of those that I shouldn't have taken. It was, I just switched off for just a second, but that's all it takes as well, you know. So, um, thankfully, I came off at an angle and took the, took the sting out of the shot. Um, just pushed me off balance, and I, I needed that shot to wake me up, really, just to, just to keep myself focused, keep myself in check. And um, when, I, when, I took, when, I, when I took that, I realised what I was in there with. And I think, even though he might have caught me one, I feel like, I, obviously, he won the battle, but I won the war. You know, I think he, um, he, showed, he showed his hand when he, gave, when he threw that shot, and I knew where he was open. So um, I found that right, and then we just went from there. It's a very short battle, mate. Let's, let's have it right. But when you sign with Wasserman, like, you, you sign with them, you expect to be fighting on these undercards, um, you don't know when you're going to get a shot at Channel 5 because there are so few fights on Channel 5, headlined by Charlie Edwards, obviously, tonight. But you've been given these shots and you just deliver pure class and pure entertainment. And I'm sure every fight fan, and they don't even have to be fight fans on Channel 5 watching at home tonight, will just enjoy you and kind of pick up on that Thomas Wellen name. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, like with the TV, um, listen, I'm very thankful for the opportunity I've been given with by Wasman. They've obviously put their trust in me to deliver on national telly. Um, and also, you listen, when they give you an opportunity like that, you've got to deliver. So whether that's a knockout performance or whether it's a classy performance, whether it's a bit of a slugfest, it doesn't really matter. You've got to deliver. And that, people want to see a good fight. And uh, I feel like the last three fights I've had on Channel 5 have been great fights. Obviously, that was my fourth tonight. But yeah, um, I think that tops the... That, that de that's definitely my, my career best performance so far. Um, but again, there was little things in, in there that I wasn't happy with. Obviously, that shot in the first round I wasn't happy with. Um, there was times there, like obviously I showed a bit of spite in there as well tonight that I was happy with. But there was certain things in there that we'll go back to drawing board and we'll, we'll definitely break it down. And again, we'll, we'll nitpick it and we'll come back with the improvements in, in the next fight and we'll just keep improving. Brighton, Sunderland, Telford, Bolton. You've got a knockout here in London tonight. And just by listening, you don't even need to watch the fight. You just play the audio. You can hear what it meant to all your fans. And that's what you do. You deliver it, mate. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, this is like a home show for me in London, you know. It's the most local it's ever going to get, really. Um, so all my fans are here, all, all my family are here, all my friends, and it's nice. I, I, I like to deliver for, not, not, not just for the telly, but for my people that come and spend their hard-earned money to come and watch, to watch me fight. You don't want it to go on, you don't want it to go on miss, you know. You want them to be entertained. You want them to go home remembering what, what, what they saw there tonight. So a very happy performance, and I'm hope, I hope everyone enjoyed it. And uh, we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll go again. Last one. What the fuck is this? <laughs> right, yeah. I'll, I'm going to add this picture, but why have you got your picture on a van? Like, what, 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 why? <laughs> so, um, I know, I know the bloke who owns the company, London Security Syndicate. Um, I know his son very well. You know, he's a, he's, he, he likes watching me fight. He likes watching me spar. Um, I held the pads of him, and his dad said, "Listen, I want to take you to your, to your fight um, in, in one of our V classes." So he said, "And I'll do a little treat. I'll wrap it for you with your name and your signature, or your, your, your nickname on the side." Did you I'm ask for your photo to be on it? So as we go in down Bethnal Green, we want to know that it is Tom Wellen down this van. I definitely didn't. No, he said to me, "Look, we can do this, and we can do that." He said, "Look, we can do this, we can do that. We can be as flamboyant as you want, or..." As, as plain as you want. And I said, look, it would be nice, wh wh whatever you think if it suits it, really. And he was like, listen, we'll, we'll try this. And I like what he, what he said, so we just went for that. And it, it came out really well. I'm really happy with it. Yeah.